class 9 i am doing part 3 of romeo and juliet chapter so before this we have seen that uh, romeo and uh, juliet they have exchanged hearts and not only that each one of them had come to know about each other's confession of love and what is in their heart and juliet uh, decided that she is going to send a messenger to romeo if he is a uh, uh, very true in uh, this matter of love her so the day was breaking when they parted and would start the page number 63 first paragraph the day was breaking when they parted and romeo who was too full of thoughts of that blessed meeting to allow him to sleep instead of going home bent his course to monastery hard by to find fray lorenzo so what has happened the day it blew and um, the entire thing of love made him so much uh, you see um, uh, interested and he was so happy with it that he entirely forgot to sleep from that going to his own home what did he do he went to the monastery where he found friar lawrence the good friar was already up at his devotion he was already up for his religious devotion but seeing young romeo out so early Yes, right. Either the cause of Romeo's wakefulness was love. So when he saw Romeo, he was very sure that Romeo woke up because uh, of love, or the reason for his wakefulness was none other than love. A matrimonial alliance between young Juliet and Romeo might happily be the means of making up the long bridge between the Capulets and the Montagues. So matrimonial alliance, that is. If they get married, if there is a marriage between Romeo and Juliet, then perhaps the enmity between them will cease forever, will stop forever. That was in the thought of uh, Friar Lawrence, who decided to um, get them married. That was his plan. That if they get married, then obviously the enmity, the long enmity between them, might cease forever, might stop. So the old man consented to join their hands. Consented, he uh, agreed uh, to help them in getting married. Now was Romeo blessed indeed, and Juliet, who knew his intent from the messenger, did not fail to be early at the cell of the Friar Lawrence, where their hands were joined in a holy match. So Romeo, he was blessed, and Juliet, who also knew. what would it be did not fail to be over there as early as possible at the place itself of friar lawrence where they got married and their marriage was a holy union between both of them the ceremony being over juliet hastened towards home what do you mean by the word hasten you have now this in typewriter style chapter in class 7 and this means walked towards home okay where she stayed in patient for the coming of night at which time romeo promised to come and meet her so she was waiting for romeo to come and meet her according to what romeo had said at noon romeo's friends Benvolio and Marcuccio walking through the streets of Verona were met by a party of Capulets. So what has happened? When they were walking, they met a group of people from Capulet and from Capulet and uh, 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 who was at the head? Tibalt was there. Who was Tibalt? Brother of Juliet and nephew of Lord uh, Capulet. He is seeing on his show, accusing bluntly of associating with Romeo a mortal. Marcuccio, who had as much fire in him as the bar, replied to his accusation with only some sharpness and quarrelling. So he saw Marcuccio, and he, you know, instructed and uh, accused Marcuccio that he was afraid of a mortal. This made uh, uh, Marcuccio angry, and he also. Uh, he was also just like Tibal. He also started his quarrel. When Romeo himself passed that way, the fear started uh, Tibal 
turned from Mercutio to Romeo. When Mercutio was passing by the way, Tybalt turned from Mercutio to Romeo. He saw Romeo and he started fighting with him and wished to, but Romeo, he, uh, you know, he wished to avoid the quarrel uh, with uh, Tybalt. Why? Because he already knew now that Tybalt was his uh, brother-in-law. This young Montague, sorry, uh, Romeo wished to avoid uh, the quarrel with Tybalt because he was a king's friend of Juliet and was not beloved by her and also Juliet used to love Tybalt a lot so he decided not to not to get into in any kind of problem with him. This young Montague had never thoroughly entered into the family quarrel being by nature wise and gentle. So he tried to reason with Tybalt. Ju uh, Romeo had never ever quarreled with anyone. He just kept himself apart from all his family troubles and quarrels. Uh, this young Montague had never thoroughly entered into the family quarrel, so he tried to keep away from Tibal. But Tibal, who hated all Montague as he hated hell, would hear no reason. Now Tibal hated Montague like anything, okay? And uh, he just hated them as hell. So he, uh, so he drew his weapon. He just took his weapon. And Marcusio, who knew not of Romeo's secret or desire in peace with Tibal, provoked Tibal. And Marcusio, who did not know about Romeo's secret motives, tried to, you know, uh, provoke Tibal. Tibal and Marcusio fought, and Marcusio fell. Tibal and Marcusio fought, uh, fought with each other, and Marcusio, he fell down. So, in this part, what are the key points which are important? We see. Romeo went to monastery to find Fra Lawrence because he was in love and couldn't stay. So he did not go to his uh, home at all. Then uh, Friar Lawrence, this figure makes his character is very, very important. Uh, he gets the reason of wakefulness of Romeo and that was none other than was his love. Next was that he gave the consent to join their hands Thank you.